Hi there, you're very welcome to our student spotlight. Today we're speaking to Natasha Richardson, who is a final year, fourth year, indeed, LLB student, um, Bachelor of uh, Laws degree, indeed. How are you today, Natasha? I'm great, how are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, it's a sunny day, so that, that always helps. Always Tell us, um, you're originally from Roscommon. I am, surely, yes, I am. <laughs> Roscommon. How did that come to be? Um, Tell us about you, you as a sixth year student or, you know, in your final years in school, what were you sort of thinking? Um, so I always kind of had an interest in current affairs, everything legal. Um, I'd always be looking up blogs of court cases and stuff. And I never really knew where I wanted to study. And it was always a big thing of being a country girl and wanting to kind of stick to my country roots, but still like explore Ireland, I guess. Um, so went to loads of open days and just I couldn't find anything that suited me and it was getting to the point where I didn't really know where I wanted to go to college and then the careers person from Maynooth came in and gave a talk in my school and she was showing this slideshow of the campus and everything was just so green and all the students were so happy and there was people like sitting out studying on um, South Campus and I literally just went home that day and said to my parents, can we please go to Maynooth? I just want to see the campus. And I walked inside um, the campus gate and just fell in love with the university. I just I knew it was me. I knew I just felt like a sense of relief. Um, and then it came the course time and I didn't really know what I wanted um, to specialise in law. I wanted to mix it with subjects, but I didn't know how to go about that. Um, and then I contacted Maynooth, the programme advisory, and asked them what was the best route for me. And they wow. told me that I could transfer from an arts degree if I wanted to try the subjects into the LLB law degree or into the BCL with criminology or whatever I wanted to take a subject with. And that was music to my ears. And straight away, it just went straight on my CAO. I didn't even think about it a mm -hmm. second like all 10 options on my CAO were Maynooth. That was, that was where I was going. <laughs> my parents thought it's crazy. They were like, you need to put down other options. But for me, once I saw the campus, once I like met the people and just seen how happy everybody was on the campus when I went there and how friendly they were, Maynooth was a no brainer for me. So here right. I am. Four so you later. had to, I mean, you had, you had done research in other colleges. I mean, you're kind of from the heart of the country, a bit like myself. So you, you would have, maybe could have gotten to any of the corners yeah. um so Maynooth was a good fit but I mean you had to move that I mean you were going to commute I guess yeah. from but, yeah so accommodation was was the next big thing um so my parents decided that it was better for me um coming from the country that on-campus accommodation would have been the easiest to help me make friends and stuff and um, so I was so lucky that I ended up getting on-campus accommodation for my first year and it was it was it was brilliant. I made so many friends that I'm still friends with um, to to today, like girls that I live with that I still talk to. And um, so I was really, really blessed with that. And just everything Maynooth, um, I, I just love it here. I really do. It is honestly, yeah. I couldn't get a better university. I, I really couldn't. Yeah. What do you think it is? I mean, people talk about the friendliness and, and that seems to be a real feature. But is there anything else about the experience of being a student? that you think is particular to me, I guess not having a frame of reference, so you haven't been to other colleges, but even from the open days that you went to, what, what do you think was? Different? I think the mix of, there's so many different counties. I feel like when you go into inner city, you're just staying in the city. Whereas Maynooth is in the country. It has that real homely feel because yes, there's all the buildings and everything, but there's so much greenery, there's so much space. And no matter who you walk by, everyone's always smiling that's that's one thing I, I noticed when I came onto the campus not even for open days but just walking through it everyone was always smiling there was a group of people always laughing at every building and it just made me feel like no matter what kind of a day you were having if you walked down through Maynooth campus you would find somebody to talk to and 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 be happy and that's just the vibe I always get off Maynooth and even like with COVID and everything that's happened I love walking up to the campus because it just it, it just makes you feel at home kind of at peace I guess and, yeah. and that's why I think Maynooth is, is just great okay yeah. good. so it brought, it brought those different strands together for you which is which is good a happy fit 
Um, what then you were confirmed that law was what you were going to do um, and you're, you're blessed. Some of us, it takes a little bit longer to figure out exactly what we want. But with the arts degree, then you had the choice to combine law with other subjects or do yeah. half of your first year in law. Or So how did you decide on your blend? Um, so I was originally going to do the BCL with law and criminology. Um, but psychology was always something in the back of my mind that I wanted to explore. Um, and it was something that I was kind of interested in, but I wasn't sure how interested. So I took um, law, criminology and psychology in my first year. And then I really, really liked psychology, but it was leaning me towards law and it was my main subject. And after Christmas, we kind of had to think about what we wanted to do in the following year. And I just kind of sat down one evening and just went, yeah, laws for me, it really is. It was just something that I, I just felt good at. I felt confident at. Um, I talked to the lecturers. They were so lovely about it. And they were saying that I had a, a bit of a niche, I suppose, um, mm. first. So that's where it I- yeah, I'm interested. That, I mean, you know, clearly you're a confident speaker and I think that that's that's an important part of being working in, in that profession, I guess. But what do you think are the qualities that you would need to have maybe if you were to proceed with a degree? Successfully? Um, I think you need to like reading. That is one thing you need to be able to read and uh, analyze things. Um, I don't think public speaking, if you're not a confident person, don't let that hold you back from applying because I wasn't the most confident speaker when I came into first year and I was really nervous that I was going to have to stand up in front of lecture halls and talk that is not the case at all and through the modules that Maynooth offer and that was one thing that really stood out for me um, is that everything is broken down into smaller groups to make sure you can manage and the lecture is always like are you comfortable with this do you want to break it down further? Do you want to come and meet with me? If you don't want to stand up and record this or you don't want to do it in that fashion, we can find a way that accommodates you. Um, and for the less confident people that would have been in my class and even me, myself in first year, it made it so much easier to grow out of that bubble. Um, so so it's, it's not essential that you be a confident person. I wouldn't let that hold you back. Yeah. Um, but reading, reading is would be one of the main things. And it, if you have an opinion on things, um, it, it's really nice it's, it's nice to be different and that's one thing I love about my degree is that no matter what your opinion everybody likes to, to have an input and building this connection of opinions in a lecture when everybody is throwing and bouncing ideas off each other it's, it's really really nice because yeah. you feel even though your opinion could be the most out of worldly thing it, you feel so accepted and, and yeah. that's what Love about my degree is that no matter what your opinion is or your your stance you're accepted yeah and I guess like you say the reading then that's where that comes in because it's important to have an informed opinion as well I mean you can have your own opinion about anything but yeah the, the reading and the the research analysis all of those types of skills um you were interested in criminology but so you've ended up now with the do you say the LLB degree so why did you decide ultimately to go for the four-year rather than the three-year degree um The four year opinion, I kind of went home after my first year and I just was like, I to my parents, I was like, I want to stay in Maynooth. I was like, I just I I love Maynooth and I wanted to maximize my time here. So the four year for me was was a no brainer. But um, also, I just found myself looking at the modules that were coming in the years ahead. And I seen that the four year degree had more of a range of modules that I would have personally been interested in. Um, and even now in my final year, we had a complete choice of so many modules and I got to choose the ones that I've wanted to do since first year. Mm. So that for me, um, it was just the, the range of modules and maximizing my time here. That was the goal for me. Like I, <laughs> I just, that, that vibe definitely comes off, but Maynooth is just my yeah, home. It's yeah. so lovely to see, you know, you're so happy in what you're doing. It's, it's yeah. a real joy, isn't it? And that's the challenge of the CAO application is to kind of decide out of 1200 odd courses exactly that's what's going to be my number one. Um, and I think, you know, that's the, the, the joy of arts, isn't it? That you can kind of. It's brilliant. Maybe yeah. law might not have been the subject for you, but it's it is, it. thankfully. But there's certainly yeah. three other subjects that you could try out as well. It's- um, yeah. So those, those modules that you were looking forward to studying since first year in your final year, what could you give us an example of one of those? Um, I did um, whistleblowing on the law last semester. 
um, that was super, super interesting. Um, right now I'm doing public health law um, and applied legal research, which is actually where I, um, I'm hoping to specialise in the future. I, Maynooth gave me a passion for research. Um, I loved reading as a child. I, I was that child that went into primary school and le- used to learn off the words from their book and, and read it off and think that they were, you know, mm-hmm. great. Like I loved English in school. And just through all the assignments, it's another thing about Maynooth that I've noticed is they really zone in on your talent and your skill. So if you're good at like advocacy and talking, there's modules for that. There's modules for research. There's modules for just everything that you see on the news to things that I didn't even know existed. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so that is yeah. where, where that all, all came from. And yeah. the current affairs, you said that in school you were interested in current affairs. So do you see now the way that maybe what you're studying applies to what you're seeing yeah. in the news? And Yeah, exactly. And even now I've noticed myself, even at, in the middle of first year, and I would look at news articles and just analyse them and, and go and take the legal things from that and search them uh, up online and see where the basis is for them were. And even like I even noticed when I'd be talking to like normal just have a normal everyday life conversations people just ask you oh I wonder what the legal basis on that is and you just go home and it's just something that you want to sit down and research and you think oh I actually must look that up now that's really interesting yeah. um, or ask to um our tutors or to the lecturers as well and it's it's so nice to get their opinions on it from professionals um so things like yeah. that just it it makes it Maynooth makes it so easy to talk to people because I feel like when I was in secondary school I didn't really want to talk to teachers because you always feel like they know what's best for you and obviously they do but you get to college and lectures are like tell me what you think tell me um how you experience this and it, it, it becomes not almost a teacher student scenario but it just feels very informal very nice and like the office hours being able to go and speak to them when you need to it, it, it it's really really nice yeah so with the criminology now changed to what kind of area of law are you thinking that you might like to specialize in? Um, so I fell in love with land law last year. It's a year long module that I had to take. And it was just it was so interesting, just mind blowing. Um, and it was just somewhere I knew I wanted to specialize. I loved constitutional law as well. And there's a good bit of constitutional mixed in um, with land so how um, would land law apply in terms of a career then what, what would you be actually doing with that as um, a specialist? So you can go on to be a barrister in like land law property law and um, land law when people think of it I think they think of fields and property and all that kind of dancing and yeah and um, there's a lot more stuff in it like your mortgages for a house that's all contained in land law and succession wills all that kind of things and rights of way for land I am a dairy farmer so for all of my life I grew up uh, learning about rights where do you find the time to be a dairy farmer (laughs) to a full-time degree so so it was always something I kind of grew up with listening to mom and dad talk about land law and rights of ways and stuff so I think that's why it sparked my interest a lot Very more good. yeah the practical side of it yeah um, and so that's, yeah that's hopefully the direction you're going to go what will yeah. you need to do then to pursue that um so I just need to graduate with a 2-1 in my degree and I have applied for a research master's here in Maynooth next year um so it is starts off as two years, but I can continue that into a PhD if I want um, afterwards, which hopefully I will all in Maynooth. All um. going. <laughs> so Maynooth, I don't think will ever be rid of me for at least another <laughs> two years anyway. Excellent. Well, we're happy to have you. That's for sure. Um, did you ever squeeze in some clubs and societies into your time there or? Um, yes, I actually did. So straight from the get go, I was in on, um, I joined the European Law Students Association, um, the Law Society and the Free Legal Aid Centre, which is FLAC here. Um, in my second year, I actually got um, elected president of the European Law Students Association and I am two year running president of that now. Wow. And last year I got elected as one of the MOOC core conveners on Law Society. 
So I am running that this year. And also through um, ELSA, the European Law Students Association, I'm actually on the Irish board for that as well, the national board um, as the vice president for competitions. So yeah, Clubs and Socks has given me a lot. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. sounds like you should be charging fees for all that work. Um, <laughs> lovely, Natasha. Can you give us um, some parting words of advice for a potential prospective student? The parting words of advice. It's always I know it's, it's a lot harder now to visit the campus, but really um, reach out. That's that's what I would say. And if you know anybody in Maynooth, um pop them a message for anybody I know that's considering doing law I actually um, am in conjunction with the law department here in Maynooth I started a legal page to help upcoming law students and give them an insight into what my degree entails and how I get through it so that's legally.natasha on Instagram I have a website if you want to message me and ask anything about the law degree um, or the arts degree um, criminology and psychology I just really wanted to give students my experience um, and the whole reason I started it was incoming students because of COVID and everything don't have the chance to come and experience Maynooth like I was lucky enough to. And that's why I started um, that page, because I really wanted to give a piece of Maynooth out to everybody that that, that couldn't get here. And um, so I would say reach out um, because that's what I did. And that's why I love it so much. I just contacted people that went to Maynooth and just asked them their experience and straight off the ball it was answered and everyone was just so happy to be here so that's people exactly like to, yeah I think people really do like to help don't they and yeah. they, they they like to give a bit of direction exactly. but, yeah youth is Maynooth is a uh, home for me so great well thanks very much for letting us have a little uh, taste of home there uh, with you today Natasha and best thank of luck so for <laughs> <laughs> best of luck for the rest of the semester thank Bye. you so much